G'day guys, you're with Craig and this is my review of Authoritas. Before I dive into Authoritas and tell you what my thoughts are, if you comment below, if you like and subscribe, I'm going to draw a winner for a SaaS product to the value of $49. You can get it from SaaS Mantra, you can get it from AppSumo. It's your choice, I will pay for it and it's yours totally free. But you have to subscribe, you have to comment because if you don't comment, I won't be able to contact you. Okay, cool, got that out of the way. So, this is a review on Authoritas. I picked this up yesterday, I am blown away by this thing. It is an amazing tool. I am absolutely loving it. I'm going to go through the features with you. So what I've done is I've got some projects running for some clients and I have set up one for a brand new website that I'm working on now, which is going to be my main site uh, and it's not ranking for anything. So, you know, I can't sort of uh, do any harm by showing some data here. So the main reasons I bought this tool, and this is really, really important, is number one, it tracks ask questions, snippets, and images and I think that is super super helpful for me because uh, it will show which pages are ranking for what and which search term and that's incredibly useful. The other thing that I really really love about this tool is the keyword tool has a intention score so it's transactional, it's research, it's informational, it's uh, something else but it gives you the score on the intention of the keyword and one of the projects I'm running in here I rang my client this morning to talk to them because keep one of the keywords we're chasing, I said, fellas, we've got this wrong. This is actually a transactional keyword. People are looking to buy. And here we are just hammering away with, you know, giving them information. So, you know, we're going to change tack this week and I think we'll probably get a better result. And it wasn't obvious that one, not obvious at all, as you would think. So I'll just sort of run through quickly what you need to know. First thing you need to know is there is two main things here. There's apps and settings, okay? And you'll be bouncing between the two, but mostly you'll be in apps, okay? But in settings, you can set up crawl schedules, you can do alerts for keyword rankings, you can do all sorts of things there. You can integrate here with Google Search Console, Google Analytics. And the keyword bit, which threw me a little bit, this is keywords, they call them market keywords, and you can put these in and they will allocate them into your backlink profile to see if any of your backlinks are actually using them. So I thought that's really helpful. Uh, page groups, I don't know about rank conflicts, there'll be something about that, I haven't got that yet, but tags I have got to. And tags is where you can set up keywords that you're tracking and put them into clusters and give them a tag. So therefore when you're setting up new profiles for tracking, you can just allocate that cluster of words. So if you're doing semantic SEO, that probably is really important to you. Uh, topic, you know, topical clustering and all that sort of stuff. So that's pretty much over here. We'll get to the meaty bit now, which is the apps. Now, in the apps, everything with Authoritas works around a project that you set up, and Authoritas goes and crawls it and things like that. Now, that put me off a little bit because I thought, mm, I like to dive into a bit of a tool and smash the bajangos out of my competitors to see what they're ranking for, how many backlinks they've got, how strong they are, and pick up lots of ideas from their keyword clusters and so on and so forth. Well, guess what? You can. If you come down to Market Analysis and go to Visibility Explorer, my phone is ringing constantly for some reason, Visibility Explorer, and all you're doing here, you take out the project, okay, so click that off, and you can, you need to put the www in, and you can put in uh, a website, I'll put in Authoritas just to be cheeky, it'll come up straight away. I didn't even hit the search button, that's how good this thing is. There's a date profile there you can work on, and you can see the ranking keywords, the ranking URLs, but this is the bit I love the most. This is the intention, okay, you can see the user intent scores out of 100, and for what types of user intent per keyword. Beautiful, really, really powerful. You can look at the ranking URLs, you get the visibility uh, profile there, uh, their position, the value, there's PPC, I think on this one here, isn't there PPC? Yeah, there it is, PPC. Man, this stuff is good. I mean, it's really, really good data. Okay, so that's one was a bit of a surprise to me. Uh, next one is keywords. Now, in the Keyword Explorer, in fact, we're just going to rank tracking first because I want to show you this. You can put some amazing filters on here and we'll just let it load up. Okay, so 
I've added one keyword, which is AI copywriting, which I won't be ranking for. Yep. But in here, you can track your competitors. You can put as many competitors as you like, and that has nothing to do, nothing to do with taking any keywords from your credit, which I think is super generous. That's really good of them to do that. So you get on the $49 package, 3000 a month, and five domain names. I'm going to extend this because I'm going to, I'm going to use this full time. So, uh, but I was just trying it out. Now, let's go back to where we were, which was apps, and we were talking about the rank tracking. Okay, this I want to show you. So, you can add your competitors. Perfect. You can add more keywords. And remove map pay. Okay, I didn't, haven't seen that one. Track daily, track weekly. Good. But what you can do in here is you can and go in down here to SERP features. There it is. Answer box. All. Okay. So you can actually track the answers, which is snippets, another name for snippets, in Google, along with all these other things here, reviews, frequently asked questions, local business listings, sports, etc., etc. And that's just one of the tabs out here. So there's a whole heap of stuff in here as well. Uh, there's the user intent, my favorite thing. You can go by and just, just get, you know, transactional if you want to. Filter those keywords out. Man, I'll tell you what, this is blowing my mind, this tool. I love it. What else can we do? So Keyword Explorer, that goes into a different looking platform and it only relates to the project you're working on. So it's not like a, just a general keyword tool as far as that's my understanding anyway. I tried to remove this and it didn't work, so I think that's right. And these are the same menu items here, but just in a different sort of setup here. So it's obviously in a, a different type of platform or something. We'll go back to where we were, rank tracking, and you will see that these are the same in the menu here, okay? So page analysis, uh, it goes through the page, it does a big thing about the page, tag analysis, share of search, forecasting, frequently asked questions. Frequently asked questions is amazing. It's amazing. Uh, I don't want to show that one because I, that's, it, I didn't set up for this site and I just tested it before and it brought up my one of my uh, clients. So um, I can't show you, but it is amazing. So trust me on that one. Okay, so let's get rid of keywords. Search console. It just brings in all the data from your search console. Now, Content360 is an interesting one. This gives you, uh, I haven't crawled it yet, but this gives you an overview of how you are seen on the internet or on the web. And I haven't run it yet, but the uh, one of the projects I've got running, I've learned some pretty interesting stuff there. So if you want more information, these guys have a heap of training videos. They've got some excellent webinars. I was watching a webinar before about look at these new keywords for you. I do know these keywords, just it's hard to say them. Taxonomy, which is the arrangement of things. So taxi plus nomia means arrangement of things, apparently. Ontology, and that means the essence of things. So this is semantic web SEO. It's about the arrangement of things on the page and the essence of what you're actually writing about. So apparently the arrangement is quite critical. This guy was talking about how he uh, had a whole range of keywords drop off for a page they looked at the page and they worked out that the arrangement of the page was all in reverse or back to front whatever they changed the layout and made it a bit better and they're back ranking number one again interesting stuff uh, i'm actually going to do a review of that video because the video is an hour and a half and it's just too long so i'm going to do that one as one of my videos coming up so stay tuned for that link data is your backlink profiling you can get all the data you need there amazing Author discovery, no idea about that. Clearly, it's for you know looking at authors or something. Campaigns, you can set up campaigns. You can add people to it. You can add extra target. You just get a different sort of look about it here. And contacts is contacts for the platform. So the other thing is dashboards. A dashboard is just a, a thing. It's got little, um, you know, uh, it's got little, uh, what do they call them? I can't think of the name. Widgets, yeah, widgets. So you add widgets there and you can you know use average ranking, domain ranking, link count. You can do whatever you want in there. So you end up with like a, like if you're using uh, Google Data Console or Data, whatever that's called, uh, you end up with a big dashboard full of data there, which is great. Guys, I highly recommend this product. I think this is really, really good. I think it's very generous. You can import and export data there as well. And based on what they're charging companies per month, man, I just, there's no reason not to grab this. Support is good. Very helpful. Webinars are amazing. I think this is a great product. I'm highly recommending it. Now, before you go, don't forget, comment below. 
subscribe, hit that notification thing, do all that good stuff, be kind in the comments, and I'm going to draw this. You can win a $49 product, $49 product. You can pick your own product up to $49 from Mantra, Assass Mantra, and AppSumo. Guys, what are you waiting for? Comment. See you in the next video. Bye.